Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. How was your sleep? Sleep wasn't great, but that's sort of like post comp normal. Um, I think easy way to start the video off today is talking about my interview after I won. <laughs> um, I was quite vacant, and I said that that winning the title. Kiki asked me, what does winning the title mean? And I said, it doesn't mean much, but it's a stepping stone to do a lot more. I think rephrased to, it means a lot, because it's a stepping stone to do a lot more would have been very helpful. Um, and that's my intention and, and that's how I do it. Obviously, I train my ass off. Obviously, I take time off of work. And uh, I, I literally only work part time at the clinic now so that I can dedicate more time to this. And I think the bit that's lost the most is that when I talk about the general health of the population, I think the person who's affected that the most is Arnold. And he did it through bodybuilding and I wanna have the same impact through strongman. So it's not as though I want it to, my, my impact to be completely dissociated from strongman and this is a, a side mission. I see it all as one and the same thing. And if I can make strongman more popular, <clears throat> then, then that achieves my goals quite a bit. And if I can educate why injuries happen, that helps me because then people can understand how to train healthy for a long time. I always tie together what strongman is and what uh, training for everyday life is, and it's really fundamental movement patterns. It's the same thing, overhead press, squat, hinge, push, pull, and carry. And so if we can get more and more people doing that, particularly people who don't have a big exercise background, oftentimes if you're, if you're just full stop larger, you'll be, you'll be stronger and you can have success in strength sports really early on. And I think early success is really important for people to exercise regularly. So that's one of the big reasons that I do love strongman. And I really, really love strongman down at the local level as well. Uh, but just to clarify that a little bit, um, I was pretty emotional backstage, pretty vacant. Um, it's been a really difficult, stressful time in my life over the past couple of months. And um, just getting a bit overwhelmed with uh, being able to persevere through a lot of challenge and stress and uh, all of that uh, sort of hit me after I won and it takes a while to process <clears throat> but this would be the title that I knew about from before I was into strongman L literally 12 years old I would have known about this title um, before I would have understood the whole world strongest man competition scene and I think a lot of guys in North America are that way um, and to, to do it with the success at, at Arnold Show, who's the closest example of what I hope to do professionally, um, is really special. And that picture I have with the trophy and with Arnold um, is now one of those moments where you reflect and think like, it's just crazy how everything's gone. So I hope I can get a bit of um, leeway for people who heard that. Um, and I think people who watch this stuff regularly understood what I was trying to say. Um, but you open your mouth enough and you say something wrong eventually. And I open my mouth a lot, so I say wrong stuff a lot. Um, but I'll, I'll try not to get disenchanted because I think it's really important to continue putting stuff out there. Um, and yeah, so we're having a bit of breakfast. We're doing Rogue Record Breakers today uh, because I'm in Columbus. Fans are in Columbus. I'm here to perform. I'm here to, to be a strong man. Um, I'm not here to stand up booths or just watch other people do things that I could do as well. So I'm going to give it my best crack. We'll see how I go. But my hands are really puffy and red and swollen. Um, but otherwise, I'm in pretty good nick. Uh, I went and had a training session with uh, Thor, Juji and Martins this morning. Uh, just light, keeping it moving, having a bit of breakfast and then we'll uh, we'll head over and it's more of a more of a relaxed sort of enjoy it day. But we're going to do um, two 10 stone for reps as a new record breakers. Um, and I think it's literally me and uh, the Stoltman's videographer doing it, so that'll be fun. We're doing the hammer front hold. I'll be able to go head to head with Trey, who has a record in that right now. And I'm doing the Denny Stone walk, and I think Kevin Ferris is gonna do it as well, and he's got the record. So um, we'll see how it goes. I think I have a chance, a legitimate chance at all three, uh, but sometimes the neural drive the day after comp just isn't there. Uh, but as we stand, I feel okay, so uh, let's see how it goes. Go into it. Oh, wow. oh Mick, you wanna run the marathon? Oh, welcome. Wow. And then Worlds, two months, all those events looking tasty for you? Five weeks. No, it's not great. I mean, I I don't love Max Mustard Umber. There's one thing I wouldn't want oh, is that. Yeah, but it takes away from the strength element a little bit. 
becomes a little bit more technical. Yeah, technical, sure. Yeah. But I think if I can hit, say, a 130, I'll come probably top three, four. Yes, I would say so, right? Yeah. Consistent enough to, yeah. to be able to push through. The good one for me is I've cleaned up my deadlift so much. I feel like I had quite a bit more there. So. Is it max dead? No, reps. it's for reps. Yeah. But I, in the past, have got really sloppy at lockout. Yeah. Which then makes uh, for reps taxing very quickly. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, good, man. Yeah, yeah, should be right. I'll, I'd, I'd wish you luck, but I'll fucking jinx you, so bad, <laughs> bad luck. Hope you do shit. Thank you. And then I'll see you on the podium. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Take care and take care, man. Cheers. Back for more. Back for more. Not done yet. Those are fast, man. Yeah? Yeah. Speedy. Ready to break some records in those? Yeah, I reckon. I don't know. They're both looking rock started here. Come on! Come on, guys! Mitchell Hook for his eyeballing tray. 50 seconds! Who wants to see a rumble? Whoa! Whoa! That was close, a few times. Maybe I was only about four seconds off. Um, shoulders are a bit tired coming into today, but uh, it was good. I mean, it's more just to participate, really. Um, yeah. You and Trevor are the only strong men to go, eh? Yeah, I don't think many strong men are doing much today. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for me, it's like people are here, we're here. We want the sport to grow. Come out and do the thing. It's, next up is uh, Stones. 210 stone over bar, uh, reps 60 seconds, I think. It's a new record, so anything more than zero sets the record. You're going against the Stoltman's videographer. Yeah, against Stoltman's videographer, which I don't know how good he is at stones. The thing that people probably don't realize is there's plenty of people who can beat me in plenty of different things. It's, uh, it's being a well-rounded strongman that makes you a great strongman. But people come out of the woodwork and you know, have an unreal stone or log or whatever it may be. So I really don't know. I don't know how good he is. So I guess uh, we'll Hello. find out. All right. Afternoon. We are, um, you and I are the only ones registered for the stone. That's fucking crazy. What do you reckon the mark is going to be? What are you going to set? Uh, I'm hoping to lift it, to be honest. That was the goal. That's so. it? Yeah, I'm hoping to lift it, yeah. Well, your apple stone is half as good as your fucking teeth. You'll get three or four because your teeth are perfect. Thank you. Yeah, they're not bad. Well done yesterday. Thank you. I worked very hard. I was just pretty exhausting myself to make today fair. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
about five seconds off the record on the new record on the front holds. I got a single 210 stone with their attack which is a PB. Just uh, something about the position and the extension, my hands kept slipping. Um, but it's all right. Uh, Diddy Stone's like, if your head's not 100% in it, you start feeling the pain really quick. I could have fought it a little bit more, but even my maximum fight might have got me halfway there. And in that case, what's the point risking tearing thumbnails and, and skin and whatnot? So I'm um, happy just to participate, happy to be a part of everything you're doing. And like I said to the crowd, if I'm here, I'm healthy, I'm uninjured. If I'm tired, that doesn't matter. Out here is a bit of a show of support for Rogue, for the other guys who have trained really hard to do this stuff is, um, I think it's, it's important. It's important to, to be able to participate. And not to mention that Kevin was going after you too. I'm sure that played like you're like, you just know that Kevin's going to push it. No, if I could have beat the record, I would have had a crack, but it just, it was an unreasonable expectation from the second I picked him up. I just thought, uh, I'm more ready to go, go to sleep than I am pick up Denny Sounds at the moment. Um, yeah, sure. But I think we're going to head over to the rain booth, uh, spend a little bit of time there, meet and greet, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll pack the weekend up. Yeah. Do we have any plans? Like beyond the we're going gonna to go dinner with Liz and Laws tonight. We might go back to Steakhouse. Yeah, um, yeah, otherwise, just sort of uh, let it all sink in. Let's go, boys! Let's go! Look what we got behind the bar! 2023 World Shug is back! Mitchell, the Moose, Cooper, Moose. I have one more event. I saw you in the league coming into this uh, I was. And? Uh, circus Dumbo, you gotta, you gotta help me out. Because I dropped from my head. Oh, shit. Sure. And then, you're pretty deadlift, I got 16. Okay. I think that should put me first by like half a point. Oh. It's something, it's something close. So I got That's power stairs. Power stairs. Gonna love it. I've never done one yet but i've no i've done like one i've gone up i haven't done like four times three you know Power says easy. yeah just do your thing yeah, don't worry down. about it just don't put it on the step like halfway on the step yeah the further back your feet can be the better off yeah. good luck thank you thank you guys thank you i know back at it again with the dumpling more dumpling rings I love dumplings and I can't get them in Barrie, so I'm going to get my fill here and we're off to my morning, so this is the last chance. Uh, dinner with Lars and Liz tonight, Ruth Chris Steakhouse, Jan Todd has asked us to go drink scotch and get drunk tonight, which will be phenomenal. Um, yeah, just continue soaking it up. The whole record breaker thing, I was pretty average, but I think 
go out there. I'm so happy I did it. Um, and then, yeah, lots of fun with the rain crew. Um, just crazy, like crazy to be one of those people in that crew. Like you got Thor, you got Martins, you got um, some the, the Buttery Bros, like so many cool people um, that, uh, yeah, maybe I'll turn into. Maybe I'll be a flop, <laughs> who knows? Um, but we're just gonna enjoy the rest of the day and uh, get ready to go. Mental energy is way down. Dwindling. Dwindling, definitely. All right, 10.45? 10.45, is it only 10.45? It's only 10.45. Shit. Wow, feels like a big night. Uh, Scotch o'clock, went very well. Had a bit of pizza. And um, just enjoyed with some good people. Um, yeah, uh, all my team was there, Ashley was there. A lot of the rogue Arnold related people were there. And uh, really fortunate to talk about what this weekend meant, uh, where it goes from here, and what we're going to do. So, uh, yeah, lots to look forward to, uh, lots to move on from, but uh, it's going to take a bit for this weekend to sink in. But um, something as simple as uh, an evening in the room with some of the people we were in the room with, um, that's pretty special. That's the stuff you remember forever. Uh, it's not really the winning. And uh, that's the root of what I was trying to talk about when the the... Victory itself doesn't mean much, but sitting in a room with them for an evening, uh, being able to have the leverage after that for an evening is awesome, which is the, the context in which the win means a lot. And that's how it means a lot to me. And that's what I was trying to communicate. But uh, anyways, had a fantastic evening. We're going to head back in the morning. Uh, of course, we'll shoot that content. And yeah, like, subscribe, become a member if you can. Um, if you can't, that's completely okay. Please follow the journey along appreciate each and every one of you and talking to you is my largest goal so i, I appreciate you uh, and hopefully this weekend has has been a small reason for you to continue following me uh, but i appreciate you and anything you need to support the channel continue to do if you can't do much subscribe leave a moose dropping and we will catch you in the morning lift heavy and be kind